Hey Harmonizers, welcome to Germany. I'm gonna share with you guys this really neat paddock setup which is called the active stall system that they're doing here in Germany. Very high tech, I wanna show it to you. And uh, let me know if you think that this would be possible over in our neck of the woods. I don't know, with the uh, winter and whatnot, but it probably would work, but let's check it out. So everything is fully automated here and the space of the paddock isn't actually that large, but the horses move a lot because of the controlled feeding time. So this right here, this is a hay feeding station and you can kind of see the open slats. So every two hours these will close and open depending on what time it is. So the horses can't stand there and gorge on the hay all day. So really cool. Let's go take a little closer look. Really neat. So you can see the way that they would bring the hay in is they come through here and they can toss the hay up against the walls and then the sides are fully automated to close and open. So you can see there's lots of hay feeding stations here. They're not fighting over a spot for hay. There's lots of room for all of the horses to get a spot. And then when we look around uh, up there, there's an entrance into a run-in shelter. And we'll just come around the other side here. There's the larger shelter. And you can see they've got a muck pile because they scrape the fields regularly. And actually, if you look down at the ground, they've got a cobblestone for the horses around the hay so it's not getting muddy. And even here, this is kind of like a, um, I'm not sure if they're rubber or if they're concrete little squares, but so it makes it easier for the scraping. So they scrape the fields regularly. Got a couple logs. Do they open up onto the grass in the summertime, Sabrina? Yeah. yeah, okay. So they have an entrance to grass, which they're not out on right now. There's another shelter over here. We can see there's a horse having a drink out of the automatic water. So everything's fully automated, which is great. Very, oh, and there we go. So a horse just left the hay station there. So horses can eat privately. They all wear these little collars. So now that that horse finished, this horse that's kind of next in line, we'll see if it was wanting to go in or if you're just standing there and blocking. Are you just standing there and blocking the opening? Because that's kind of a jerk move. Kind of a jerk move. So they can eat in the, um, the public area with the lots of horses or there's this little area here where they can go and if they go in there, they can have a certain amount of time specified depending on their collar they're wearing is programmed to what they need. So it looks like this horse is thinking about going in, maybe not. You're just standing there being a jerk. Don't come over here. So they're not going in right now. And they can go out. We've got salt stations right there, which is great. And then over here is the grain station. There's actually a horse in there right now. Uh, but it's not shut at the back, which means they've either finished their food or it's not their time to get grain. So their collar has it tells the computer what type of grain they're supposed to get and how much they get. And if they've already had their grain allotment for that time period, they won't get any more. But they go in and then they come out through the side door there and just encourages them to move around. So it's really interesting to make, it's really quite a small space. It's really not that big when you take a look around. You can kind of see the whole field. We just pan the camera from the side with the run-in shelter. You can see the back wall and around so it's not a massive amount of space but they've made it really interesting for the horses and encouraging them to move with these automated stations and so the horses wear either the collar like this which has the little um, little programming chip in it or uh, they can have it just tied to their mane to their forelock really interesting oh look he's going in we got another one going in there so if it's their time for grain, the doors will shut. And if it's not their time for grain, oh, so it's shutting. So that must mean that they haven't gotten grain in a little while. So they're going to get their customized ration. You're going to hear the grain drop. There it goes. We heard the grain drop. So now that horse gets to eat that. So it means they get to have small, frequent meals because they can go in every so often, every few hours, and they'll be able to get that grain. Hello. Hi. So this one's wearing the chip on the uh, halter. So it looks like this, this little programming. And that's really cool that you can program it based on the horse, how much time you want them to have 
with the hay, if they're allowed to have any time with the hay in the private stall or the grain as well. So that horse is just in there having that. So this side is all mares and then the other side they have all gelding. No, don't go on there. The horse having a drink at the automated water over there. Very cool. I'm gonna give it a little. Have figured it out and they will eat there pretty much even if, uh, like this one. Right now you can see the hay feeders are shut which means the horses are having to do something else instead of just gorge and then later on they will open back up. Although here you can see there is a cheeky pony who has found a way to stick his head out of the field and around the corner where they put the hay in for the feeder stations to get that little nibble. We will automatically give them the correct grain and so they get really small portions so the caller should read that he came in and then that back door will shut, is that right? Yep, but obviously he isn't supposed to have any right now because the back door isn't shutting. Ah, okay, so he's not allowed to actually have any. So he's in there hopefully waiting for grain and then I guess at some point he'll realize that it's not his time for grain and then he's gonna leave. Ah, that is so cool. And, and that makes them walk, right? So that makes them walk. So if that was his time to get grain, grain would have come out and the doors would have shut. And that's very cool. And think of all the bomb proofing that they're getting having to go through those doors. Really, yeah. really neat. Cool. Awesome. So here's a horse that's got a different setup where the little bead is right braided into his uh, forelock there. So that's pretty cool. And another neat little feature about this horse is, uh, so this is in German obviously, but it has the fact that he's allergic to penicillin written right on his halter. So when he comes out for the vet, if anybody's holding him, you can't really mistake that he's allergic for penicillin. So that's really great that that's his halter. Very cool. So let me know what you think of this different setup here in Germany, the active stall setup. Love to hear what you think and if you think it could apply to Canada or North America. And uh, it would be really cool to hear from you guys. All right, thanks for watching.